Hey guys, happy Sunday. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run. And in between each run, um, we're gonna do a different movement. So the run distance will actually decrease, which is great news. And then a rep scheme will actually decrease, which is great news. But it's just a lot of different skills that we need to be prepared for, so let's talk about it, right? We come in from our first run and we got 50 burpees to target. You wanna choose a target where you kinda of gotta jump, right? And so, um, and then the idea of the target is just to like keep people honest to the burpee, right? So um, a lot of people kinda of cheat the burpee, so we just need to make sure we give them a target so they open up their hips. So we wanna do a burpee. Doop. Cut. Jump to a target. Burpee. Jump to a target, right? We go back out on our second run. We come back in and then we have handstand push-ups. So handstand push-ups, you guys can achieve this a lot of different ways. Um, if upside down just isn't available to you, just go hands on floor and you guys can just go some hand release push-ups, right? Keeping the body straight. Or you guys can grab some dumbbells and you guys can just go some Z press, those would be great. But the handstand push up itself is that we flip upside down. And you guys can also, this little guy's kind of hide it, have some height so you guys can like make this higher, which is great. Or just use the ab mat just so your head doesn't like hit the concrete. So come down, or come up, come down, explode up, explode up. So once we get done with our handstand push-ups, we go back out. We come back in. Oh, now we're tired. So now we got a total bar. So total bar, we just here. Thirty total bar. Once that happens, we shoot back and we come back in. Then we have devil's press. All right, devil's press is a burpee to a double-handed snatch with the dumbbells in hand. So we come down, do the burpee, chest is to ground, jump up, overhead without stopping. Straight overhead, all right? So we go on our last run, we come back in, and we got these wall walks. Now wall walks, it's kind of interesting, right? It's 10 of them. So we can start, if upside down just isn't in the car force, we just start with an inchworm. Push up, walk your hands back into your feet. Got it. One rep, right? And conversely, start here. If they're still not available all the way up, we go feet on the wall first. One step, one step back down, right? So those are ways to kind of do wall walks and progression until we're able to start on the ground, find the wall, all the way up, all the way down. Once you guys be done with 10 wall walks, you guys are done with this week's programming. Congratulations. Hope you guys have fun. See you next week.